welcome back to my channel. So today's video is my August wrap up. Yeah, it's uh, my August wrap up. Wrap up. Right now I'm filming it in September. Um, yeah, if I seem pretty tired and uh, just spacey, <laughs> I'm filming this after in a nine-hour shift at work. So. Um, yeah, both jobs, so I'm pretty pooped right now, <laughs> and uh, it's about like 10 or 11 o'clock at night. No, it's 10.30 actually. <laughs> um, and yeah, so my ring light is on, that's why the glare in the glasses are going on. Um, also, I'm not going to be sitting up this whole video because I'd be very- maybe I can, hold on. Yeah, that'll be a lot better. <laughs> okay, I'm going to try to- kind of sit up this whole video. Yeah. Um, anyways, so this is my August wrap up. What did I read in August? So we'll talk about, um, I didn't really watch anything. Well, I kind of like, I'm still watching like Gilmore Girls, but like I didn't finish any s series or anything, TV series, so we'll not talk about that. Um, or like anything like that. Uh, okay. So we'll just talk about uh, what I borrowed from my Hoopla library app on my phone. It's Hoopla um, and it's just an app where you borrow books from your library. So I uh, read two of those. So the first one that I read was Hideaway by Nora Roberts um, and I really I enjoy Nora Roberts' writing. Um, this book didn't wasn't really her best. I've only read like two or three of her books now, um, but it wasn't her best. Um, but yeah, it it I gave it three out of five stars. Like I still liked her writing. It was still like pretty good, you know. Um, but it was just you know. Not something I'd keep or anything, which is good because I don't have it, <laughs> you know, I borrowed it from my library. Um, but, sorry, I have my notes on sticky notes. Uh, yeah, three out of five stars. Um, this book is about, uh, this famous family, and they're like a family of like four generations or something, and, uh, they are all very talented and very famous. Most of them are actors. And it follows, like, this girl in this family who, in her, like, young life, I guess, as a child, she got kidnapped and held for ransom. Um, and so she just kind of deals with that trauma throughout her life. And, of course, um... You know, the kidnappers are back and ready to kidnap her as an adult, and she finds romance. <laughs> um, anyways, yeah, the famous family aspect of this book, I don't really like famous family stuff or famous people, I guess. I, I don't know, like, I didn't really like that in this book. Um, I'm not sure if I like it in general in all books. <laughs> um, I haven't really read many famous, like, book character tropes, I guess. Um, but yeah, Famous Family, that trope was not really my favorite, but I did enjoy, like, kind of reading, like, the, the like, the whole atmosphere of this book. It kind of reminded me, like, because it follows the family, kind of, follows the family mainly, and, um... <laughs> Kind of reminded me of that Christmas movie called uh, The Family Stone with Sarah Jessica Parker and like that one guy, <laughs> um, I don't remember his name, isn't it like Dearmont or something like that? I have no clue. Um, but yeah, the you know, one of my favorite Christmas movies uh, because I do like the family aspect, but like, I don't know. Um, anyways, take that information with what you will. Uh, yeah, that's pretty much what I wrote about this book. Three out of five stars, pretty decent, you know. I wouldn't 
recommend it for someone who wants to read Nora Roberts. I'd recommend The Reef by Nora Roberts or even Undercurrents. That one was a pretty good one. Uh, not Hideaway though. <laughs> Anyways, next book that I borrowed from my library. Sorry, my I'm moving a lot. <laughs> I'm like very uncomfy right now. <laughs> Um, anyways, okay, next book that I read was Buffy the Vampire Slayer, a comic book, uh, Welcome to the Hellmouth. I rated this 4 out of 5 stars, really enjoyed it. This is basically like a Buffy the Vampire Slayer retelling in modern times, so it follows like Buffy and like she's a vampire slayer and it kind of like is a retelling of her story and how um, she meets Willow and Xander and the Scooby gang and uh, yeah. So basically like, yeah, in modern times because like Buffy the Vampire Slayer, that show I hold dear to my heart, uh, but it is from 1997. So yeah, it's not really that modern, you know? Um, I really liked the reimagining of this. It was really good. I really enjoyed the art as well. And uh, yeah, I don't know. Like, I also wanted to discuss, so like last month uh, in July, I finished Faith Volume 1 and I hated this book. So I wanted to discuss like what the difference was between Buffy the Vampire Slayer, Welcome to the Hellmouth, and Faith Volume 1, um, because, like, they are both supposed to be reimaginings, but I feel like the Buffy the Vampire Slayer one is more, it's more, it's better, you know, it has a better storyline, and, like, I don't know, I just feel like it's way less confusing, and, like, when you know the characters from the show, you can still enjoy it. And like when you know the when you don't know the characters from the show, you can still enjoy it. Whereas in Faith, like you know Faith as a character and you read the book, <laughs> the comic book, and it's just not enjoyable. Uh, for me and uh, the person I mentioned in my last video of my last wrap up, anyways, yeah, so, I don't know. Anyways, hope that, you know, helps, I guess. <laughs> but anyways, yeah, I rated this 4 out of 5 stars. Okay, so I kind of readjusted my camera setup, so hopefully this helps, you know. Uh, yeah, for the at least the half last half of this video. <laughs> um, okay, I probably should have done that before. Um, yeah, okay. <laughs> you know, it's fine. Okay, so let's talk about the physical books that I read this month. So, I only read two. So the first one was Beyond Religion by the Dalai Lama. Um, yeah, Ethics of the whole, for the whole world. Uh, this was about, let's see, uh, uh, I just, I ripped it. I don't know if you can tell. Yeah. Um, that's okay. <laughs> Ugh, whoops. Okay. Uh, we'll just forget that I did that. <laughs> um, yeah. Bad, re er, bad Religion. That is a punk band, Nicole. Beyond Religion by the Dalai Lama is about just, um, it's a non-fiction, so it's about, like, basically... The Dalai Lama, he explains, um, or Tenzin Gyatso, hopefully I pronounced his name right, if not, I'm sorry, uh, but yeah, the Dalai Lama, we all know him, <laughs> or maybe most, uh, yeah, it's just basically, this book follows just how he looks on secular compassion and happiness and like how you can take how you can be happy without religious influence like you know how like in show compassion to your fellow humans i 
there was a lot of in this book that I agreed with. Um, so, you know, if you're interested, I'd highly recommend it. Um, yeah, and that's pretty much what it's about. <laughs> uh, yeah, so what I liked was I agreed with it a lot. Um, I liked the boot. It does have Buddhist thought and teachings in this, and it was very interesting. Um, I am a sucker for learning about all religion. You know, I'm myself a Norse pagan, uh, but, you know, I feel like you can learn a lot from different religions, be it Christianity, be it, like, you know, Buddhism, or be it even Satanism, you know? Um, it's just, it, it, I feel like learning about different religions definitely also teaches you compassion and teaches you how to see uh, from different perspectives. Yeah, um, so yeah, I just really enjoyed the Buddhist like thought and teaching in this, uh, even though I'm not a Buddhist myself. Um, I actually used to consider myself a Buddhist, but it was like very westernized, like, you know, how like the it's popular to do yoga and like, you know, um, <laughs> cause no harm, you know, kind of like that. <laughs> uh, which, you know, is like good, but also like, you know, not really Buddhist. Eh, yeah, anyway, if that makes any sense. <laughs> so, yeah, um, I highly recommend this book. Uh, let's see, even though I rated it three out of five stars. Uh, I hated how dense in, like, how dense it was, because, like, it had a lot of information in it, and, um, which is good, you know, if you're looking for more information, that's good. Uh, but, like, since I agreed with most of his points, it kind of seemed like I, I was just kind of skimming and not really enjoying it as much, and it felt like I it was just droning on and on and on. I'm like, okay, we get it, but, like, I feel like this book, like, I definitely enjoyed reading it. I just feel like, you know, other people would enjoy it more because I you know, I already think this way, you know? I feel like it'd be a lot more beneficial um, if someone who doesn't really necessarily think this way gets a hand on it and is willing to learn. Because I know that some people, you know, they'll be like, Dalai Lama, burn that, you know? <laughs> um, anyways. Um... Yeah, and I also put that he could make this shorter. This book was already pretty short. It was like 188 pages. So I don't really, I think it was just because I was like writing something and I'm like, make it shorter. Because again, like I said, it droned on and on and on. But like, you know, I feel like it's pretty short and it's like a good read. So yeah. And as you can tell, well, I don't know if you can tell. Yeah, a little bit. I kind of like, Anno not annotated, but tabbed it, and then, like, halfway through, and then I stopped. <laughs> um, anyways. Okay, so, next and last book that I read was Meddling Kids by Edgar Quintero. Uh, this book is very beautiful. Let me show you and not rip the page. So, look at how beautiful that is. It's here. Let me turn off yeah, okay. So this is just like with not without the ring light, but I feel like this book is just so beautiful in like here. Um Yeah. So <laughs> yeah, this book is just I, I love it. Anyways, I think you can see it more with the ring light on with than with it off. But anyways, yeah. Meddling Kids, Edgar Quintero. I gave this, again, three out of five stars. I gave a lot of books, actually. I feel like I gave most of the books three out of five stars that I read this month. Um, anyways, um, 
This is about these kid detectives, much like Scooby-Doo, um, revisit and, like, you know, well, hon, uh, <laughs> revisit an old, like, case that they were involved in in, like, their last case that they were involved in in, like, the late 70s, and they revisit it uh, years in the future, in the early 90s, um, and yeah, they revisit it because it, they felt like it was unsolved, because supernatural things were happening, <laughs> and actual supernatural, not, like, just the man behind the mask, you know, uh, so yeah, that was very interesting, um, I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> uh, yeah, so this is, like, kind of like Meddling Kids is, like, a cross between Scooby-Doo and Lovecraftian horror. Um, horror. <laughs> um, anyways. <laughs> I liked the story. Um, it was very interesting, and I'm very glad that I read it. Because, like, you know, I feel like it was very interesting, you know? Um, like I just said. And what I hated about it was the characters mainly and the writing because there was a lot of fourth wall breaks. And I'm like, Miss Girl, I'm not watching Deadpool. Like, what's wrong? What? Why the fourth wall break, you know? Um, yeah, and it was also kind of slow. But other than that, like, I do recommend reading Meddling Kids if it does interest you. Just go into it, th like, you know, without, like, you know, like, mm, expectations, I guess. Like, not to sound mean or anything. Like, just go into it and just not think about, like, all, like, Scooby-Doo, because then you'd be disappointed. But also, like, have Scooby-Doo at the back of your mind. Yeah, if that makes any sense. But yeah. Um, anyways... That's all the books that I read this month. Um, not a lot, but hey, I read four books, which that's pretty good, you know? <laughs> so uh, before I go, I also want, I know that I usually try to do a TBR at the end and like show you guys what I've been, what I'm reading and stuff, but I have an announcement. <laughs> So if you don't follow my Instagram, you would not know, but um, please follow my Instagram if you want to participate. But anyways, uh, instead of doing a TBR, so like, you see all these books behind me. Most of them I haven't read, and the one big giant long-term goal on my YouTube channel, and the reason why I created a booktube channel, is to read all these books <laughs> and try to and just document it. So, um, yeah, that's my goal. <laughs> Haven't really been doing that well because I've been reading a lot of library books and, uh, yeah. Anyways, so here's a new thing I'm going to do. Um, so I just kind of organized my books, um, in, like, genres, which you will, you have seen in my, uh, cottage core room tour. Um, so yeah, I realized I don't really read a lot of like the genres and stuff. So here's what I'm doing right now and you can participate. So, uh, my Instagram on my Instagram, I post stories on, no, polls on my stories. <laughs> So I will do something like this, like, oh, pick my next read, and I'll give you guys two genres that I'm in the mood for, and then you guys choose which one that you want me to read, and then I will pick that and read it. And I'll, sh of course, show you guys, like, what, what one and what I'm reading. <laughs> so, yeah, as you can see right here. But anyways, yeah, um, if you want to participate in those polls, then please, you know, by all means, go to my Instagram link in the description. It's all in, like, one link, so it's a link tree. 
Uh, but just click the Instagram one and it should take you to my Instagram. If it doesn't, it is the same name as um, on here, the Retro Reader. Same picture and everything. <laughs> so yeah, it should be simple. But yeah, if you guys want to participate, then give me a follow or just, you know, stalk my account. That's perfectly fine too if you don't want to follow me. And just like participate because like I want as a booktube channel I want you guys to be included in um this channel you know <laughs> it's not all just about me it's about you guys too so like I want you guys to pick out the genres you want me to read when I'm in the mood for them <laughs> so yeah I should tell you guys what the genres are so if you guys don't want to watch my room tour so um i'm just gonna point to them as i go so that i remember so i have mystery thriller Let's see i already forgot um paranormal science fiction and then uh contemporary so contemporary contemporary includes like historical fiction fiction, romance, yeah, it's all like a cluster of stuff. Then the shelf behind me is my favorite authors, which include Nora Robert, uh, Michael Crichton, and then I also included Stephen King, even though he isn't technically my favorite author, I just pick up a lot of his books. <laughs> and then also I have classics on the bottom of the shelf. Then on this side, I have three shelves full of my series and then two shelves full of nonfiction books. So yeah, those are like the genres you can choose from. And yeah, um, obviously you guys saw that I already read um, Meet Me on Love Lane and uh, yeah, that was the first book that I read in September. In September. Uh, and the second book that I'm currently reading right now is Persepolis. Or Persepolis. Or Persepolis. Uh, by Marjane Satrapi. Yeah, I'm really bad at pronouncing people's names. <laughs> Um, but anyways, yeah, so that's, that, the choices for that was the romance, or contemporary, and then, uh, nonfiction. So, those are already chosen, but other than that, you can choose more. I actually might do another contemporary one, because, like, or romance, because, like, the romance was supposed to be finished by the end of this month, or this, this video month, so August. But of course I didn't do it. Anyways, I am rambling right now. I'm gonna stop. <laughs> but anyways, yeah, if you want to follow my Instagram and my Goodreads too, uh, link in the description. Uh, thank you so much for watching. If you like this video, give it a thumbs up. Comment down below what you read or what your favorite book I read was, or if you're excited for the Instagram choose my book polls. <laughs> I might do this just till I'm done or like for like a month, you know, try it out. But I actually kind of like it now. Um, yeah. <laughs> Anyways, um, yeah, and blah, blah, blah. Oh yeah, subscribe to this channel if you want. You don't have to, I'm not forcing you to, but yeah, I'd love to have you in, have you become a retro reader. Um, anyways, thank you so much for watching and I hope you guys have a good day and hopefully next video I will not be as tired and rambly. Hopefully not. Okay, bye. Be sure to follow my Instagram and Goodreads. I post all my updates on Instagram as well as fun pictures and I post everything that I'm reading uh, currently on Goodreads. So if that's interesting to you, uh, please follow. Link in the description.